What's up everyone, it's Cory from Morph Gaming, and welcome to this Overwatch Archives Retribution Legendary Guide for the Plausible Deniability Achievement and Spray. Uh, so what I'm going to do in this guide is going to show you basically what we did and give you some tips on how to defeat the enemies and how to get through each of the encounters easiest. Uh, so alright, let's get into it. So starting off in the first room, there's going to be three different entrances. So first you have to go plant the bomb over here, and then the enemies can either come from the roof, or they can come from the metal doors on the left, or they can come from the metal doors on the right. Their first entry is always one of those three. And then it starts a sequence for that for that section, and then it goes to a little stop phase, and then the next section, and the next section. So I like to throw damage orb as Mora, and Genji should be dashing through them, and you're just cleaning them up. On this section, it always goes upstairs to this area next. Uh, these, are, these are pretty set spawns, then it comes down here, downstairs. Uh, these are pretty set spawns, but uh, if you if you do go to where they usually spawn, then it kind of makes a problem, and it sort of spawns them in different spots sometimes, so be aware of that. Uh, and yeah, I, I sort of messed up there, I let my Reaper die. Don't try not to die, because if you're, if you're going for a good score, you do not want to die, because it'll sort of mess up your score if you die a little bit more. So anyway, yeah, it starts down the bottom, and then it goes to the stairway, and then it goes to the other side, and then it goes back to the stairway. And then there's a little peaceful time where it's going to be in the next area. So it's either going to be here, or it's going to be the roof, because it was... It's obviously one of those three, so once one is done, it's going to be one of the other two. So just dash through these guys as they come through, and throw a damage orb, they'll be dead in a second. Next one is up the stairs again. Clear them off like this, easy, easy clap. And then the next one will be over here on the far side. Damage orb again, easy, easy, easy. Uh, generally, if you, if you have your Reaper up close, that's generally how you want to do it, and have your Kree out the back, and more out the back with the Kree, and then your Genji can be up close too, dashing through them. Uh, if you don't know how to Ghost Dash with Genji, honestly, this is like <laughs> the best Ghost Dash trainer of all time, because it's, it's just amazing. So if you want to learn Ghost Dashing with Genji, here's a good spot to do it. Uh, they come from the roof next, just like this, throw another damage orb. Heal them up, heal up your team. Uh, as Kree, you can sort of stun them all as one. That's a good spot to use a Reaper ulti if you want. If you have it up, uh, a Reaper can ult as they drop down from the roof. In this first room, you can all be ulting at any time you want. Just as long as it's not near the end. You don't really want to ult near the end because then you won't have it for this next section. And also, that was Pog Champ as fuck that I actually shifted through there. That was a little. Alright, so for this next bit, there's a couple enforcers. One on the left, one on the right, I believe. And then a few troopers. There might be three enforcers or so, but yeah, just clean them up. And then this is going to be the first special we're going to see, which is a sniper. She can one-shot you, so be careful. Uh, the enforcers can also one-shot you, so be careful of that. The enforcers are these shotgun guys right here. There's normal troopers, which are just, they just have ARs, and then there's enforcers, which have shotguns. If you get close enough to them, after they charge up and they shoot, they can one-shot you. Same with the uh, sniper, once she charges up and she shoots, she can one-shot you. Uh, with Genji, his deflect takes two deflects before he can actually kill her. So it's not like the other difficulty modes. Uh, so in this section, we like to have the Kree ult here for the boats, and then we generally have the Genji ult for the other section. Uh, and then I Moira ult usually as soon as the planes come in. So yeah, that usually lets us clear it up pretty nicely. Uh, be aware that sometimes there are one, there's one sniper, sometimes there's two snipers. We have had three snipers, I'm pretty sure, once as well, so just be careful of it in this section. Uh, when there's a sniper, she can sort of take you by surprise, but they're pretty easy to kill. Also, the snipers have pistols if you get really close to them, uh, that do quite a lot of damage, so be careful of that. Now, for this next section, we like to have a Kree and Moira stay back in this room, and then we have the Reaper teleport all the way over to the other side, and I like to throw a healing orb up over to him. Now, that's where a couple of snipers will spawn, so the Genji and the Reaper will both go over there, and with the healing orb, they should be able to kill both the snipers, so you can see they're both dead now. And then we just clear up the rest of the ads over here. And we're pretty much good. Uh, this this section will take a little bit of practice to learn how to do that orb and teleport over and dash over and kill the snipers without dying. Uh, but yeah, once you've done that, you want all the players to come back to here, whatever this place is, this room, uh, and have your Genji go forward and trigger the cutscene for the next assassin. Uh, spoilers, it's an assassin if you haven't seen it before. <laughs> So it's a new hero, this is the next special, which is an assassin, which is like uh, an assassin rat from Vermintide, if you played that, I don't know. But yeah, she's she's a bit monka s you don't want to let her uh, get to you and jump on top of you. So you can stun her with McCree's flashbang or with Genji's dash. Both stun her in place and then you can just kill her very easily. So you can see by us being all the way back here, it makes her spawn outside in that door and then you can just flash her easily. And then you want to clean up the rest of these ads over here. Um, probably don't need any ults here for this part. 
The next part is where we're going to want to use uh, most of our ults to clean up uh, the boss. This is this is the first mini boss coming up here in this next section. So yeah, I've kept my morale for her, obviously. I mean, for him, obviously. Are they actually? Hmm. It's gender neutral for it. <laughs> Alright, so this is the heavy assault guy. This is the hardest uh, special in the game. And he takes a lot of damage to kill. So here he is, he comes in here. What we like to do is just train him anti-clockwise around... I mean, you can do clockwise if you want, but anti-clockwise seems to work pretty well for us. Just train him around this blue building. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. When he gets low, or when he gets close, just back it up to the next section, and then just corner peek him, and he'll sort of charge down each section in a straight line. So be aware of that, don't get charged off the edge, don't get charged to die. If someone does die, just keep doing your normal rotation, and then come back and res them when you get to them. Uh, just do it slightly faster than usual. Don't do it too fast though, because otherwise you'll catch up to him and he will shoot you again. Uh, beware of ads behind you. The ads behind you are the top priority. So you can see I took my time before I came back here to res Genji. So be aware of the ads behind you, number one priority, and then the rest uh, is just like worrying about chipping him down, the heavy assault unit in front of you, and ulting when you can. This is my favorite spot to Mora ult from, because it gives you a good line of, uh, into the enemies like this, line of sight like that. And yeah, that was pretty monka ass there. <laughs> I, the problem with uh, Mora ulting there is if you do it too late, because I, I'd resed our Genji, so I was in my ult pretty late. If you do it too late, I'm rest, I'm rest. Uh, he will basically he's screw he's you up he's because he's he'll come around the corner before you can get. It. You can't blink. You can't uh, fade, obviously, like in my ult. So be be careful of that. Make sure you more ult early before he comes close to that corner. But yeah, once he gets low, you can just use all your ult to re ult your Genji blade and everything, and just finish him off. And it should be pretty easy. Like once you once you understand this part, how to train him, cut him around the blue building. Fairly simple, actually. Uh, and then you just want to keep going. Killing off the ads and whatnot in this section. Use your damage orb. Uh, make sure everyone's healed up here. Uh, because the next fight is with another assassin. So, yeah, make sure you're all good. We're good, we're good. Make sure you have orb here. You want to use a damage orb as these guys drop. I messed up. I threw a heal orb, but it's okay. Hopefully. <laughs> You'd want to throw a damage orb there in that situation. I think I was low, so I heal orb to try and heal myself. If she jumps on you as Mora, you want to shift out straight away. Mora should not get jumped, otherwise uh, the team can all die if Mora gets jumped. It's okay to ult here if you need to, it's totally okay. Uh, and yeah, you just want to stun her with McCree and or Genji, and then you're good. I got a little bit cocky there and walked straight into an Enforcer and died. <laughs> Cost us a bunch of score, that was dumb. I was sort of memeing there and yeah. I honestly, we did not expect this to be the attempt where we did it. Because uh, we, we had tried a few times before and it was quite difficult. We'd, we'd always got to the last boss, like, and got him almost dead, but not quite. And then this was the first time playing with, like, our dream team, our best players, and easy clap. We did a first shot, which was pockets. So, uh, up here, once you're up here, you might want to clear off these stupid, ugly ass, uncomfy looking chairs, just so you can walk around a little bit better. Uh, but yeah, we usually like to hold up top here for most of this section of this fight, it's pretty easy. Uh, and then at the end bit, we're gonna start dropping off and kiting and stuff, so you'll see how that goes. Uh, there's a bunch of drop ships. There's a few different types of spawn sequences uh, in which they can come through. We got the one where it was one drop ship and then a boat, a few boats. We usually always have the Cree, uh, McCree ult, sorry, high noon, the boats, because it seems to work pretty damn well. But yeah, just make sure you clear them off. Be careful of the enforcers, of course, they can one shot you. And yeah, clear them off. Nice little head clearing. Easy clap, easy clap. Be careful of the enforcers. And then once you clear them off, uh, just go back up top. Make sure that you stabilize, heal up your team, make sure you're all full, and you should be good. Uh, there's a sniper spawn next, I'm pretty sure it's two snipers. Uh, sometimes it's one, sometimes it's three. It's a bit monk ass when it's three, uh, but usually it's just two. And then you're gonna have an assassin spawn, so just uh, flashbang her and dash her and stun her up and kill her off nice and easy, and then come and regroup up top, you should be good. Uh, usually, if you're standing up top, the assassin will path one of two ways towards you, which is down this straight path, which I'm looking at right now, or behind us on the main stairway, which comes up right here. So yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, next will be a spawn of a bunch of enforcers. So a lot of enforcers, you might want to use an ult here. Uh, I waste mine because I didn't realize that McCree was going to kill all of them. So that was a bit of an NA ult by me there. But it's okay if you do dumb ults yet, because just just make sure that you have ults near the end, because the end bit is where you definitely want to make sure you have ults. Uh, and yeah, so the assassin will come up again, another assassin, be careful, uh, stun her up, kill her. As you can see, she came up the main stairway that time, sometimes she comes up behind, 
Perfect. There you go. You see the two parts you can come from. Uh, it's right there. Behind or main stairway. So yeah, uh, just kill off the assassin. You should be good. Stabilize again. Heal up your team. Make sure you're all good. Uh, and then the next section, I believe, is going to be a bunch more ads. So you just want to... Uh, I think the ads are a little bit random. They seem to be a little bit randomized, but uh, near this end bit, there's always going to be another dropship. So you want to kill off the guys in the dropship. The, this dropship will stay there, and then it will drop another bunch of ads, as well as the heavy will come down almost immediately after that. So this, this bit's a bit scary. So you can see the heavy guys there. This is where you want to start changing it up. So you're going to back it up, make sure you're like crouching and whatnot here so that they can't get a very good LOS on you. The heavy can spawn in a random spot, so just be aware of it. Just make sure you're backing it up over here. And then the second he gets LOS on the top, you want to drop down like this. And then he loses LOS and he's going to start pathing differently to you. Um, make sure you, you try to keep your juice meter up. I sort of messed up here. Um, I had pretty low juice near the end, so that's not good. <laughs> I gotta back up here though, so just just be a little bit careful. So we like to sort of chill down the back here, and then when he comes towards us, then you just sort of path back, and then you just go back up the stairs. So it's it's a little bit uh, hairy and a little bit unreliable, but once you understand how they path, and once you learn how to kite them properly, it's not too bad. There will be ads spawning this whole time, a bunch of enforcers and a few troopers and stuff. So always, always the ads are always priority because the the big heavy guys you can just train up, right? So you can see he's coming up the other staircase now. They'll only come up one of two ways: that that far staircase or this close this main staircase. So be careful. Sometimes they're just chilling down <laughs> main, like you can see there. There's a lot of cover in mid here, which is pretty good. So if someone does go down, for example, it's not too bad. Um, be careful of what I'm doing here. This is not a good idea what I'm doing here. I'm pretty much just doing it to sustain everyone to try and let everyone get out so we're trying to stabilize and get back up and here yeah, we're good so we reset on top which is good so that's what you want to pretty much keep doing just uh, keep doing this and chipping off his health until he's dead and you're good so uh there are going to be two sorry I, I didn't point that out there will be a second heavy assault which drops after about i don't know it's about 30 seconds after the first one has dropped maybe a little bit longer maybe 40 seconds maybe even a minute it's it's pretty long um it's not that long though. Yeah, I think about a minute. I'd say it's about a minute from when the first one drops, the second heavy assault drops. So you want to make sure you put in as much damage as possible on the first one before the second one drops because obviously uh, you'll be taking less damage because it's only one of them. So you just want to peek like that, do a little bit of uh, peak damage. When you're low as more if it's really monk ass, be careful uh, because you're the only one who can heal yourself with the heal orb, obviously. And when you use that heal orb, that's it. Once it's out, it's out. That's all your healing you get on yourself until your next cooldown. So yeah, we like to do it like that, path him back up, make him come down, and then be careful. Be careful of the ads, be careful of the other big boy, and just, yeah, keep doing it like over and over again like this. Just pathing all the way to the edges, and then back up, and then back down, and then all the way to the edges, and using your ults where you get it. Uh, this is generally long range poke, so you want to use Moira ult, and you want to use McCree and Genji mostly. Reaper can't do too much here, except for when he's... Mm. Actually, he, he honestly can't do too much at all here, because obviously of his damage fall off and whatnot, so he's he's not too helpful in these sections. He could maybe be focusing on ads, might be a little bit better. But yeah, mostly you're just doing poke with Moira, right click, Moira, damage orb, uh, McCree left click, and Genji left click. Uh, but yeah, you want you want to stabilize like this. Obviously with Moira, you have fade, so... You can, you can path a little bit better than everyone else because you become untargetable. Actually, actually Reaper can path pretty well too with his shift because he's untargetable. So make sure you use that when you need to get past the heavy guys. Make sure you're using shift as Reaper and shift as Moira. Uh, Genji's shift, he can still get hit in it, but it's pretty good as well. And obviously McCree can roll, but that's obviously the worst one. So McCree is going to be uh, the one who has to worry about his positioning the most and make sure he's not mispositioning uh, because it's extremely difficult. Hey, yeah, just keep repeating it over and over again. Uh, we had the guy go over to the far side up top there. I've never seen that happen before. So hopefully that doesn't happen to you guys too. And he got like LOS on top. I've never seen that. If that does happen, I assume just drop down. Should be good. Uh, and you should reset down to the bottom. He reset down to the bottom even though we didn't drop down for some reason. So... Yeah, as soon as you see them coming up again, go down drop, like this, and then stabilize with some healing orbs and whatnot, and then start damaging him up again, uh, and just keep an eye sort of on their health. Now, you can probably burst them down a little bit quicker than this. This is just like the safe way to do it, you know? So, 
Actually, I'm not going to spoil what we got, but we got a pretty good score, right, on this. So, actually, you probably saw it in the title, right? I probably titled it Top 45. Okay. We got Top 45 NA. <laughs> so, it's pretty damn good score. And I'm pretty sure we could probably get, like, I don't know, Top 10 or some, something if we really went for it. But what you'd want to do for that would be get no deaths. And probably also kill a few extras at the end. Uh, I'm not sure how big the time bonus is. So, I don't think the time bonus is that big, so if, if you just want to keep doing it like we're doing it, it's totally fine. And when you see he's low, you can commit all your ults. You can use a Death Blossom, you can use your Blade, you can use your Damage Orb, you can use your Morale, you can use your High Noon. Use it all at the same time and you can just like come off easily. Uh, you don't want to be blading or Reaper ulting on him when he's not that low, you know, because it's it's a bit too risky to do that. Now, once, once you've killed them off, you just want to sort of come up to the top up here and just wait for your ship and crouch to make sure you break LOS as much as possible, throw a healing orb and jump straight in. Do not wait. Do not wait. And get straight in, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Achievement unlocked. Poggers. Let's go. <laughs> you got pretty excited, because we really didn't expect to do it on our first try with this team. Yeah, let's get it. So, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this guide. I hope it helped you a little bit. Uh, if you have any questions or whatnot, feel free to leave them in, in the comments for me. I'll try my best to answer it. And yeah, I hope this helps you guys with either going for a leaderboard score or for just getting the achievement straight up. And also, like, this method can also be applied to the the expert mode to get no deaths on expert. Just use the same type of method and play it a little bit more safe. And yeah, um, you get an achievement for it, which is portable deniability, and you also get a spray, which is the heavy assault spray, which is probably now the most rare spray, I'd say, in Overwatch. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, happy gaming.